Oh my god. I'm alone in the universe. There's no god to save me. I'm an empty vessel. I don't know anyone here. Hi, my name's Kyle Gordon, and this is the time I did a bunch of Adderall, tried acid for the first time, and accidentally became a bully. I had just moved to Brooklyn, and I was staying with a few of my friends. I didn't have any money, so they were letting me crash on their couch, and they let me sleep in their basement. There was always a half inch of water on the whole floor in the basement, uh, cause there was like flooding. But I was having fun, I'm like, woo, New York City, I'm doing it, hooray, I'm doing comedy. I took one improv class, I'm a star. And then the upstairs people were these guys in this uh, punk band and they all had a, had a party together and I was like, wow, Brooklyn lifestyle. I'm a cool guy in the city. At the time I was taking Adderall as a party drug, it just makes things that aren't interesting, interesting. And so I took a good amount of Adderall for this party. I met this one guy. I still have him as in my phone as Canada Joe because his name is Joe and he's from Canada. I literally talked to him for an hour and a half about Canadian politics. Oh, so um, do you guys have a uh, like a bicameral legislature or like Stephen Harper, man, he's bad news. And then there was this other dude, very skinny, kind of like bug-eyed kid, silent, completely silent. It's like two in the morning and I'm like still like, going and so someone was like hey let's do acid and i was like you know what that's a very good idea and i'd never done acid he gave me one tab of acid and pretty much immediately after i took it i realized that i am really fucking tired but i, I you know i hadn't taken it so i'm like maybe this will like lull me into sleep and i'll just have funky dreams no 45 minutes later, everyone's leaving is just like three dudes watching Transformers and I'm like in the room, on the bed. <sighs> when I took the acid, I didn't go out, I didn't go forward, I just went deep in, deep in. And it was not fun. I'm a very happy guy. I have fun every day. You know how I do that? I don't want to deal with the scary things in my head. I just want to let them be. And so now I'm taking this and I'm like, oh my God, I'm alone in the universe. There's no God to save me. I'm an empty vessel. I don't know anyone here. There was no visuals. There was no wobbly head, flaming lips, pink elephants, Pink Floyd, none of that. It was just a deafening chorus of all my worst fears Fuck, I just need to get to sleep. And so I go down to the basement uh, with the like puddle of water and I go into the bed and I see that like skinny, scrawny kid like curled up on the bed with no blanket. I'm like, dude, you gotta go. This is my bed. I'm sorry, you gotta go. And he like looks at me like horrified. And again, doesn't say anything. I'm like, dude, you gotta go. This is my bed. He like walks away and I'm just like laying in this gray, miserable couch. There's no way I'm falling asleep. My parents live like about an hour, hour and 15 minutes north of the city. I'm going home. I'm going home. I take the train. I take Metro North back to my parents' house. They were out of town. I collapse in the driveway. Literally when I got home, I was like, praise be to Hashem, he has guided me. Uh, and I went home, there was no one home, got into my parents' bed and just like curled up and watched TV. You know, maybe a few weeks later, a few months later, I'm watching this documentary about these kids who were raised in this apartment in New York City, and they were never allowed to leave their apartment by their parents. They literally were homeschooled, never left the apartment, and they only learned about the outside world by watching movies. Wow, this is fucked up, this is crazy. Wait, I know that guy. <laughs> One of the sons from that documentary was that little skinny kid on the couch. Oh my God, I am a very bad person. I bullied this like very vulnerable kid who had never like, he had been in society for like 48 hours and that was his first experience of society. Just be nice to everyone all the time because if you don't, you might accidentally end up bullying a very sweet and vulnerable boy who is just now figuring out how society works and he's just as scared as you are. Tales from the...